Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute y'all. Also, welcome to Spooktember, also known as September. Okay, we're getting the spookiness started. September is a month full of a glam Halloween looks, so I save all my full-on looks for October for Halloween. But today we're doing a Sally-inspired look, and I am using my Cadaver Cult brushes today for this. They're so cute. There are some that look like little diamonds, like black diamonds, and then these ones have little hooks on them, so when they're drying after washing, you can hang them upside down. How cute is that? Anyways, getting started with the look, I'm using this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Auburn, and I'm just filling in the brow in the shape that I want with the pencil. And I'm really making them super dramatic. Obviously, I wanted to make them more of a red color since my wig is red, since Sally is a redhead, right? And then to really give them that oomph I'm looking for, I'm using my Kat Von D Super Brow Pomade in Scarlet. These pomades are so amazing. I even use them for paints sometimes. Like, they're bomb. They're so good. So I'm just filling in the brow and really making them super defined with this pomade. I also go on top with some Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel in brunette just to kind of, you know, not make them so bright red. I am cleaning up the brow with my Shape Tape Concealer so they are nice and sharp and perfect. Because that's what we all want in life, right? Perfect brows. Now I gotta do the other one. Looky there, magic! Now I'm taking my all-time favorite Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Primer Potion, what I use all the time. I will never use another eyeshadow primer, ever. And I'm putting that all over them eyeballs right there, and I'm making them go all the way to the inner corner, all the way out to my temple almost, because we're doing a pretty dramatic eye today. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm first outlining how I want the patches to be with a white or a very light pink eyeliner. Just to get the shape down, it doesn't have to be perfect, just a rough draft, just so you know where you're going and what you're doing. Then I'm taking this NYX Single Shadow in the color Butterscotch Caramel. It's like a yellow shade, and I'm filling in two of the patches. So Sally's dress is like yellow, pink, and turquoise, and then there's different like um, designs on each patch. So I'm doing two yellow ones, and then I'm doing two pink ones, and one turquoise one. Then I'm taking this blue color as well, oh, like turquoise color, and I'm just doing the inner corner patch there. And then I'm using a pink color from the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. I didn't show that though, I'm sorry, and I'm just filling in the two patches that are left over. I'm taking the That's The Point Hella Fine Liquid Liner from NYX. This liner is so awesome to do little tiny details with because it's so tiny. It's really amazing. Um, so I'm doing stripes on one pink patch. You can look at a reference picture of Sally's dress because that's what I had to do. Then I'm doing some crisscross applesauce style going on here on this yellow patch. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can look kind of like sketched, you know? That's Tim Burton's style anyways. So don't try to be so 100% perfect with it, okay? It's okay. And then I'm going to outline each of those patches in the black liner as well, just so they stand out and they are really defined and you can really see it, you know? It's just getting in your face. I'm also doing a cat eye along the lash line as well, just to make everything defined. It's crazy the difference that black lines make on a look, truly. And then I'm doing some little stitches. I didn't do too many of them, I just wanted to do a few here and there. Now 
Checking my Wonder 2 Super Stay Liquid Liner. This is in the gold shade, and I'm just kind of outlining the yellow ones a little bit on the inside just to give a little extra pizzazz, if you will. And then I'm also taking the Super Stay Liner. This is Metallic Turquoise. It's just a pencil, and I'm going to do that same thing in the turquoise one. Just adds a little shine and a little sparkle. Taking this NYX White Liquid Liner, I'm just going to go and hit the very middle top of those stitches so they pop out and they look like they're coming forward a little bit. Oh my gosh, magic again! They're both done! Look at that! Yes! Now we're going to go on to the complexion. I'm using my Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Primer just to smooth those pores out. Yes, ma'am. And then I'm going in with my NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation, which I have been utterly obsessed with lately. It is amazing. And I'm using a Sigma sponge to apply this. For my concealer today, I'm using my Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced, which I've been obsessed with this as well. I've been using it for like a month straight. It's bomb. Um, by the way, my husband told me that this music isn't spooky. Or, like, Halloween-like. Um, is he crazy or... <laughs> I'm confused. To set all this liquidness we got going on on our face, I'm using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I am in the shade Sugar Cookie, which is the white translucent shade. For contouring today, I'm using my Sigma Sculpt Palette, and I'm using the shade right there. I'm also using my Soft Angled Contour Brush from them, which is actually my favorite contour brush ever. I use it every single day, and I am really chiseling out them cheekbones. I'm not playing today, okay? They're getting chiseled. And when you wear a wig, you want to make sure you really contour your forehead because it makes it look a little bit more natural. Just saying. For blush, I'm also using the new blush palette from Sigma. And I'm using the shade right there in the middle, the bright pink one. And I'm using my Spotlight Duster brush from them just to really put it right on the apples of my cheeks for that doll-like appearance. Because Sally is a rag doll. Taking that Super Stay liner again from Wonder 2 Cosmetics, I'm putting that in my waterline and really applying it on the lash line as well because we're going to smoke it out quite a bit down there. So don't be afraid to go to town, to Halloween town, okay? Then I'm taking the Huda Electric Obsessions palette and I'm mixing together these two shades on the bottom here and I'm just going to really smoke out that blue. And then I'm going to dip back into that NYX um, Butterscotch Caramel shade and just put a little bit below the blue. I forgot that blue and yellow mix together and makes green, so it turned out a little lime green. No big deal. Now I'm taking the Bitter Lace Beauty Slay Highlighter. Sorry, Killuminator. Killuminator. It has blood splatters on it. I got it last year from them, so it's super Halloween-y. I think they still have a couple of Halloween highlighters left from last year, so go check them out for that. I'm using my Lash Fan brush from Sigma as well to highlight my eyebrow bone. That's my favorite brush to use for that. And then I'm just going to finish off that cat eye and really make it pointed in the inner corner of my eye. I just love to add that. It's a great little detail. 
Take a black pencil and just run it along the inner um, water line up there. You want to tight line your eye so it's nice and black. We don't want to see any skin. We want it to be black. And for my lashes today, I'm using my Caution Mascara from Hourglass Cosmetics. And uh, for fake lashes, I'm using my Vivacious Lashes from Sephora Collection, which I'm obsessed with these. They're amazing. When I do detailed looks like this on my eyes, I don't like to do lashes that are super, like, super dramatic, you know? I want a little drama, obviously, but I don't want them to cover everything I did when I'm looking at you. So, yeah, just give them a little something. And then I just cut up a pair of lashes, and I am doing some lower lashes. I did quite a few down there. I ended up adding, like, six or seven lashes. Yes! For my lips, I'm using the Wonder Kiss Gloss Lip Liner in Rose. I outlined them first, and then I just went in and filled them in completely. It's like a pink kind of color. It's like a deep pink shade. It's really pretty. And then, to top it off, I'm using my LA Splash Cosmetics Angelic Balm. This is in the shade Divinity, and I'm just putting that right on top. It just gives a little bit of color, a little bit of shine. I have a discount code with them, too. It's Voodoo Barbie Doll. It saves you 25% off your whole order. So go check them out. They have the horror collection of liquid lipsticks out right now, so those are amazing. If you haven't got them, go check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!